YouTube, this is Jeff with Jeff's Toy Reviews, and today I'm doing a review of Generation Toy GT-2 Tyrant. And here is the packaging. As you can tell, this is Generation Toy's version of an IDW Megatron, and um, I love the artwork. This artwork is really sick. I love what they've been doing with all of their boxes. Um, they come in these nice sturdy boxes, except, see this right here? I'm glad this thing is packed in foam. I figure it was fine, but oof, that was scary. Nothing on the back. Generation on the toy on the top there. Oh, it does say Generation Toy on the back, and it repeats itself a lot there. And your little warnings saying this is 15 plus. Um, don't put stuff in your mouth and all that stuff. Choking hazards and nothing on either side. So that's it for the package. And let's bring him out. All right, and here he is out of the package and looks really cool. I'll get in closer for some details. He does come with an instruction booklet that talks about everything you can do with him, all his transformation, all 64 steps. And um, yeah, and it also talks about the flight stand he comes with and um, yeah, and how to attach that, <clears throat> excuse me, attach that to um, Tyrant. And there you go. So here he is, fresh out of the package. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera up just a little bit more because I want you to get a look at this stand because this stand is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take him off the stand. And yep, it's in there, good. It sits in there really tight. You just plug in the port, into that port right there. Let's set him off to the side and he does come with a clip that's really really tight so when he's in robot mode you can just clip that onto him and, and you adjust it to his waist now this suggests really cool so check this out so you can pull out this this notch here and you can raise the stand it does have this nice support so this will definitely hold him really well and then you can also bring it all the way down. And then this, you can lift this up and this will extend that far. And then you push this pin in and you get free range of what you want. And then push it back in on the other side and it locks really well. Now this can just rotate and just comes right off when you need. Now in robot mode, you can have this standing and you for a wider base you can just pull this these out and you can put his feet here and he stands fantastic on this he actually stands fantastic even without the stand you can put a nice decepticon faction symbol here really well if you want to and maybe make up a megatron name or something if you want a really cool stand i'm glad it came with it because he is a jet and kind of need kind of needs it if you want him to be in his jet mode so i'm gonna go ahead and push this down bring this out push that to here for now and then and then push this back in to lock that in place lock that in place and it really locks so get this out of the way for now and here he is in his um uh, in his jet mode and wow what a bomber he looks really cool very reminiscent of the idw um megatron also the generations megatron that they came out with a few years ago looks really really good now let's see for measurement sake he is from tip to tip here across he is just over 14 inches which is really really long for for this mode really good got some nice heft to him uh, really like this this is really cool so to transform him, well, actually, let's go ahead and look at some more of the details here. You have his cockpit, some more of the cockpit windows. Really nice. There's really no, um, there's no articulation on this thing. There's no like rudders or anything. These don't lock into place, but that's okay um, unless I'm missing it. And then here is the underside of of it yeah these are purposely gapped now when he comes in the package he is like this so when you go ahead and start the instructions of transformation they already have these pieces down here and they say go ahead bring these up and tab that into place so 
before we get started. Put that back down here just because I want to get started this way. You're going to go ahead and remove these pieces. And I am not going to set this aside. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. You're going to take this upper piece is on a slider or this piece is on a slider and then come on. No, no, this and no, oh, this piece, this top half right here is also on a slider. So you get one side looks like that. And you're going to go ahead and do this side, the upside, and then you're going to rotate this piece up. And then you're going to take these two pieces together and bring them together. And here is Megatron's or Tyrant's fusion cannon, his arm cannon. Really like the translucent plastic, the uh, purple. It doesn't feel cheap or anything. Generations Toys has done a great job with their plastics and their molding. Not a lot of flashing on it. Looks really good. Um, really, really cool uh, piece. Now, to get this guy transformed, you're going to go ahead and turn him over. You're going to do the first thing. going to go ahead and bring these two tabs up. Bring them up. And then there's a tab right here. And then when you come up under here, there is a slot right there. And then that's just going to come in and you're going to just snap that into place like so. Then you're going to... You're going to untab... There's two tab, uh, there's two holes here. There's two tabs here. Those just slot right in there. You're gonna rotate this piece. It's got a double hinge there. Gonna go just go ahead and rotate like that. Bring this piece up as well. You're gonna untab again. Two holes, two tabs. You're gonna bring this up and around like so, and just like that. Okay. Now we're going to take this assembly bring it down just a little bit and then just clear that out like so go ahead and do the same side since we're over here go ahead and bring that out okay and then we're going to turn to the bottom side here you're going to Listen to those ratchets, because they're really nice ratchets. You can go ahead and bring this piece up and fold that here. We'll go ahead and do that at the same time. Okay, and we're gonna go just fold that up. So, oop, so that gives us where our legs, so you just fold these pieces up on themselves. These are loose, they don't really go anywhere. They just rock a little bit. You're going to bring that, bring the knee joint out of the way for now. So to get the legs done, we're going to go back to the back here. Put your finger in there and you're going to bring the foot out. Oop. Foot just comes out right here. Just pull it down. You're going to rotate the toe till it's even and then and it's got a good tight um, fraction uh, friction uh, there so that's good and then you're going to come in here and you're going to take this piece and you're going to just fold it unfold it all the way down to like that and then you're going to take this and see it's got a little hook to get your fingernail on and it's going to fit right in that square there so you're going to come in sorry let's see make sure you can see best way I could do it was like just so you can see, get a better angle here. So you want that peg lined up and it's, mine's a little high. And then what will happen, it'll just like so. Snaps right into place. Bring the, the heel spur back out. And there's, you can bring the kneecap down or you can leave it up. I bring them forward. Um, yeah. Oh, it didn't come all the way forward. Excuse me here. Yep, 
and you're going to want to pull this out like so. so you want that really towards the front so you can pull the knee down it doesn't look all weird and then you have that all lined up and then go ahead and reposition that So another way to do it, I guess. Perfect. That's another way to do it. Bring that up and perfect. So there is the first leg. I'm going to go ahead and come out here. Do this again. Foot out. Rotate the toes. Take this piece. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies have been kicking today. There we go. Get all that locked into place. There's, <clears throat> you'll see these, this piece of plastic, there's two notches right there that hold that right into place for you. And then you're going to bring, again, you're going to take this out and you're going to come down and it should be able to right. Nope, I missed it. So that's good because then I can come in this way. There we go. See, because you can just line up. Sorry, I'm off camera. There's this bar right here, and that hole is right. I'm trying to show. Right, well, you know what? Let me do it. Can I bring it out? Uh, I can't bring it out that far, but it's the same hole that's on the back there. Just got to make sure that that's all lined up in there. And what that does is that gives you your support for your shins. I had this wrong the first time I did this. Well, live and learn every day. So I'm trying to line those notches up in here. There we go. And then that's the hole I was trying to line this peg into and that should just go like so. And that time I got it. So there are his. There are his legs. That took a little longer than I thought it was going to. Sorry about that. I learned something new though. And then you're going to unpeg this piece here. You got these. Um, these pegs. These pegs were basically in these ports here. You're going to take this out. You're going to bring this forward. You're going to. You have a double hinge. Ah, oh, now I need to raise the camera. Sorry here. You have a double hinge in here. And actually, I might lower Let me. I do apologize. Let me adjust the. Get a better look. There we go. And you're just going to raise this up for kind of. You're actually going to lower this, sorry. This is the position it was in before. You're going to bring it down and rock it like so, where it's all the way down. And then you're going to, there's two pieces in here. You're going to bring up one and the other. And you're going to bring them out. And there is Meg's head, as you can see. You can rotate this like so. Okay. Now, this seems floppy and it really isn't. It's just, no, well, it's, it's floppy. What do you want me? Yeah. I'm going to bring this up. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because there is, I have to separate these top pieces so we can get his arms. Like so. And then
there we go. There's these two tabs here that, that are in together and they're kind of like, almost like hooked in. You gotta pull one up and the other down and it's kind of weird, but I always feel like I'm gonna break it for some reason. I mean, I don't think I will. Again, the plastic quality is decent. So, but I gotta get all that separated like so. And we're just gonna go ahead, bring this down, put these out of the way for a second. You're gonna bring this, and this will all come forward, pull this back, and this will bring out Megatron's or Tyrant's head. And then you're just gonna come down, and there are now that he's on the ground. I had to do this last time too, so I do apologize for all the different camera movements, but you have these slots here or these ports and you got these two tabs here not or, yeah slots and you're going to come in and you're going to bring these in first and get those tabbed in and you're going to come in here and then tab and tab and they're very strong sturdy tabs which is great and then you're going to come up here and you're going to you're going to feel when you push in there's another tab in here you could see it right there and you're just going to push. I went too far. Okay. Now I have to undo this. <laughs> that happens on that side for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe the tab isn't as big, but there. Go ahead and bring this side down again. So I make sure I have clearance for everything and then Okay, and bring this back up. I'll show you what our next steps are going to be here. Go ahead and come around here. This is on a double hinge. You're just going to now to show you. There's these two tabs right here. They're going to slot right into here. That's going to give that extra stability in the neck. And then this is just going to come straight forward and it's going to go in right under this piece here. Like so. Bring that back up to finish that. There's his head. You're going to take this piece and you're going to, it has this hinge down here and you're going to tab or uh, put these pegs into the, these two ports and these two ports. It's going to fit in just like this. And then you come up with these pieces here, bring that in like that. That's fine. And he, yay, cool. Okay. Now, we're going to come up and we're going to take these pieces here and you're going to put your, you got to put your thumb in here to separate them or a nail or whatever tool you use. Bring this piece up and bring it all the way forward. Um, it's good. This is a nice firm tab here and here's a nice slot here and you're just going to bring that on top of it. doesn't snap in or anything, but I like to make sure it's firmly in place. And come on, it's going to be the same thing on this side. Oh, and there's one more thing to line up. There is a hook tab here and you want to make sure you get that hooked. There's a little, space right here you'll see the space here and here and so i'm hooked here there we go so you're gonna bring this up you're gonna bring this down and you're gonna line up see this, this little slot right here and then this is gonna go into the slot here so you just make sure everything's lined up And 
and that gives him stability with all that. And now his arms, up like so, you bring down, bring down. You can push these pieces down too, give him a little extra fillipet in the shoulders. Now you're going to bring his gauntlet out and down. And you're gonna pull up here, put your finger in there, you can pop that out, and then you're gonna bring out, you're gonna rotate. The fist, there's enough clearance, get that out. And then there is a tab and a slot. And then you're gonna bring this piece back up tab rack in this place, bring this piece, oop, bring this back up, rotate, and flip this out, and bring back down. And that's one arm. Second arm, you're going to untab again. There is the slot, there's the tab, bring this forward, out, and then we're going to Rotate out the fist. And then bring this back in and tab that back into place. And there he is. Tyrant. And I like that they give you space for a nice good Decepticon symbol. And you can take his gun, or his cannon, and there are two top ports up here, but only one of them is designed for it. So because of clearance issues, put that one. And you can actually put it on either side. It's up to you, There's the, uh, the ports are available on each side. And there he is. Put him in the back so you can get a better picture. I'm gonna bring the camera down just a little bit. And there he is. And I like this figure a lot. This is the second time uh, I've transformed him. I think that's why I've seen these new little issues here, uh, especially with the legs. I'm gonna check the instructions really quick on the legs. I wanna make sure that I did that right. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, that's just kind of weird that I have that, that straight piece showing like that. And... Yeah, that is correct. So those are how the legs are supposed to look. And to show you, because like I said, it's the first time I've ever done that like that. So it's pretty cool. Legs look great. I I will say I like this figure a lot. You have a lot you can do with him. He is very posable for articulate. Oh, let's show one of the features as he does have light up eyes. So let's bring in the, bring the camera up a little bit. It does have a light up eyes and those do shine really well and to prove it i am going to turn off the light and boom really nice and bright ba -boom, cha -cha. really cool um i love the little details that they gave him like the vents here the nice purple lining is throughout the cockpit translucent plastic so if you do want to put a, a decepticon logo you can um, it looks like that can actually pop off i might see if i could pop that off and put the logo underneath it um, you got your more windows. Just the detailing looks really, really good throughout. And then for articulation, his head is on a swivel and does rotate. So he can look down. He can look up. He can shake his head. No, 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 no. And, oh, sorry. And I'm going to turn off his, his lights there, his eyes. Because he actually even looks good with the lights out. Like with his eyes just, you know, they're, it's red plastic. They, it's really, it's not dull. You know, it looks really good. Um, arms do rotate 360. He can, if you bring this piece out of the way, he can come up all the way like so. Um, he does have a bicep swivel. He only has the 90, less than 90 degrees in the elbow joint. And um, his, he can rotate his fists. He can bring his fists in like that much for 
you want to choke him, him choke somebody his fingers um, static thumb three fingers on one pin and then he does have an independent his uh, pointy finger is independent so you can have him like kind of pointing and but there's that little hook in it so it looks kind of weird but but it's got a nice pin in there so it's pretty solid he does have a waist swivel. It's not very much, but you can get some good poses with it. What's hindering is this piece in the back, and this piece does not move. So um, for leg articulation, he can come up this far. He can nice, good ratchets, and this is friction out. And then he does have the thigh swivel, and he does have 90 degree bend at the knee. He does have a full tilt and he can move his feet. Even the, the heel has a rocker and you can move his toe independently if you want to. Um, so there's a lot of posability options with this guy. I've been messing with him and I really, really like him um, for the things that he can do. And his size is uh, commendable. He's like a really nice size figure. He's, he's weighty. He feels like he should have die, die cast in him, but I can't find it. If there is die cast in here, um, I don't know where it is because I don't feel anything that is die cast. It feels plastic to me. There is a little bit of kibble on the back. It's just these two pieces. There's I've been trying to mess with them to see if I can flatten them back out, but then it hinders all kinds of mobility and articulation. So there's nothing really to do. It would have been nice if maybe you can you could have like just blocked this, covered that somehow, but with these up, you can't turn it. Um, and with these down, yeah, it just doesn't work. So stuck with those on the back, which isn't a big deal. Um, and let's see here. With his stand, bringing a stand back in, you don't necessarily need him to stand on his stand. These do extend. Go ahead and the camera down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing and you know you can have him stand perfectly fine um, on his stand with without it or you can have him back up and then this can just clamp and this will hold him in place um, so he'll look like he'll look like that on his stand so I actually will probably put the stand back in the box. It's a really nice stand, but I'm not sure what I would use this stand for at this time, um, unless I decide to do some flying dynamic pose. He does have the other port right here. So you, if you want to, you can put him in some nice um, flying poses. Um, can just do this. So if you want to have him like hovering and looking down on people, you can do that as well. So, yeah. So let me go ahead and take this guy off this thing. That. Come on. It's just so weird doing this. Ugh. It really sinks in there and sticks in there. And it's not meant to be funny. That's just observation. So there he is. So I'm gonna go ahead and push him back. His total height from is just about 10 inches tall or at 10 inches so he's got a good height on him he's definitely scaled for masterpiece which is nice bring the camera back I do apologize for all the camera movement but i want to make sure you guys are seeing everything and let's see here so we'll go ahead i'm gonna bring him over here and do some size comparison so you can get an idea of how tall this guy is besides just 10 inches here he is with um star screen so you can tell i mean this guy towers over star screen um, like so that was masterpiece star screen now we have 
Generation Toys Op X. And he is taller than op their version of Optimus Prime, which I actually like because I think Megatron being the tyrant, the villain, should be taller than the hero. Always makes for a better story. That's just my opinion. Here he is with Generation Toy version of Jazz. And you can tell, yeah, a lot taller than Jazz. And last but not least, I'm comparing him with MP36 Megatron. So, we get these guys standing side by side. You can tell he's he is a smidge taller than um, MP36, which is, you know, it's not a bad thing. Because I really like the way um, the IDW version, the Generation Toy Megatron looks. So to have him on the shelf with other IDW figures is going to be really cool. And then to have Megatron with his own, um, you know, Megatron's already with his own uh, MP. So, yeah gonna be pretty cool uh, if you've heard any creaking or anything I do apologize my chair was loose and um, I just had to put that in there just in case you did so this is um, I think it's a really interesting um, figure I'm really liking what generations to generation toy is doing I keep getting them confused or the names confused unfortunately with G creations and it's not something I mean to do it's just something that happens because I talk too fast and that happens. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put his eyes back on. And there he is. So um, let's see. All right. Sorry about that. If you noticed a quick break there, I do apologize. I actually, um, for my final thoughts on this figure, I think he's a must get. I really like the overall paint scheme. The plastic quality is really good. The details are outstanding. Articulation is good enough. Um, yeah, he doesn't have a double elbow bend and all that stuff, or double jointed elbow, but I think for what you can do with this guy, I think he's he's right on the money. This is an IDW version of uh, Megatron that Generation Toy did a great job on. Um, I really, really, I mean, just his head alone with the those nice electric eyes really nice man really cool those light up eyes that effect is really nice um but just the overall details when you're looking at his knee joints and the feel of him he's got nice good ratchets for movement he feels and he's sturdy you don't need a stand um like he's a very sturdy figure he's he's good weight um even though he's plastic i mean i i don't know if there's any die cast in him i don't think there is so for my final thoughts and my final review if you're into idw and you're really liking what you're seeing with uh different companies out there and there are plenty to stack up against um i would definitely seek out this guy i think uh generation toy uh their version of tyrant it, or their tyrant is really really cool i'm going to stick with generation toy for the idw stuff and um, I'll go from there, I think. So this has been Jeff with Jeff's Toy Reviews and my review of Generation Toy Tyrant. This is GT02 and um, or GT-2. And yeah, really, really nice fig. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Please like this, uh, like this video, share um, this video if you really liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> excuse me channel if you haven't done so and if you have any comments or see anything that you'd like to discuss please go ahead and leave a comment below i typically answer them if they're too negative eh, we'll see anyway thank you so much for watching have yourselves a great day take care now